What's going on guys? Attica from the Attica World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon Showdown Live. I'm working on the Wi-Fi battles, dude, and I got some really crazy ideas planned, so stay in tune for that. And um, before we get into this shit, you, I know some of you are probably going to notice that my shirt has like a hole in it here. Now, there's actually a pretty crazy story behind this hole, you know? This shirt's been through some shit. And I would tell you guys the story, but it's kind of crazy, you know? It's crazy to the point where if I put it out there, it might get me in trouble. So, how about this, you know? It's a story that's crazy enough where it'll be worth this weight, but if I ever get to 100,000 subscribers, I know it's a crazy number, who knows if it'll ever happen, but if I ever get to 100,000 subscribers, I will tell you guys the story behind this shirt and why the fuck it has a hole in it like this. It may seem like something simple, like why the fuck is he hyping up a shirt like that? The story behind it is honestly one of the craziest that's ever happened in my life. Possibly the craziest so far. So that's just something I wanted to bring out. But uh, my shirt has another thing to do with this video. You see what I got on my shirt here? You see what I got? I got a fucking dragon running through the city stomping on shit. Now, some of you might be wondering what the hell kind of video this is from the, th from the thumbnail and the title, right? Well, this dinosaur has everything to do with what we're doing, baby, because today, what we are doing in Pokemon Showdown is not the usual stuff that I do on Pokemon Showdown, not this OU stuff that I always do. We are doing today, my friends, Ubers, finally. Thanks to the innovation of um, Pokemon Showdown and other people talking to me about it, I am finally ready to do some Uber battles, man. This is going to be the first Uber battle I have ever been in in my life. I just threw this team together in the last 10 minutes. It's full of absolute whores, but I guess everyone in OU is an absolute whore. I don't know how well I'm going to do. I just... I literally just took some crazy strategy and threw it together, you know, um, it's gonna be a rain team, you know, I figure, why not, you know, like, Kyogre, um, Beartic, Mewtwo, because I always wanted to use Mega Mewtwo X, um, Lugia, um, um, Yvital, and, um, Deoxys attack form. Now, I know this team is, like, fucked up by Stealth Rocks a lot, there's a lot of problems here, but you know what, I don't give a damn, we're just gonna go into this, I literally threw this team together in, like, five minutes, man, and that's why the, the, the dinosaur on the shirt means something today, man, we stomping through the city, we got, we got the big boys in the building, man, the Ubers, the, the Titans, the, the, the fucking behemoths of the Pokemon game. Now, I always said, if I ever got into a different tier, the only other tier it would be is Uber, since OU you can use everything, and Uber is the stuff you can't use. So I figured that, hey, you know, in Ubers, I would see stuff that, you know, you could never see in OU. I mean, sure, in OU you won't see like a Luminion running around, but I mean, it's possible. But in, in OU, it's not possible to see what a, what a Lugia can do. It's not possible to see what a Mega Mewtwo X can do. So I wanted to explore that myself. So those will be the two tiers that I mainly play for the most part. Maybe I'll experiment with other ones a little bit in the future. But for now, it's going to be Ubers and OU. I really want to get good at Ubers. Or at least just experiment what Ubers is like. So you know what? Without any further delay, let's get into this, man. We're going to look for a game. This is my first Uber battle. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. This is OU. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... This is my first ever Uber battle, dude. Like, I've never used any Uber Pokemon in my life. I've never used anything Uber in my life. So my first ever Pokemon battle on Showdown, well, first ever Pokemon battle with U Ubers will be on Showdown. So you know what, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uber, let's go, let's go. I'm ready, man, let's go. Mewtwo needs to hold Mewtwo Knight X, oh. Oh yeah, it can't have a life orb, obviously, right? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Mewtwo. Mew to Knight X. There we go. Okay, there we go. Totally forgot about that. I thought I was going to have a Mega Mewtwo X running around with a life orb. I'm like, oh yeah, that's real strong. You know, that's going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> man. <laughs> Let's go, man. First Uber battle, man. First one. I'm ready. I'm ready to get into the scene, man. I'm ready to see what the threats are. Oh boy, Kyogre everywhere. Okay, um, so what we are going to do now is, why did he disconnect already? Why did he disconnect already? Claim victory? What the fuck? Why? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> did he DC just because he saw the Pokemon? Uh, I know, this is an absolute team of whores, man. It's a team of whores, I know that much. But I mean, damn, I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> oh man, but I mean, right now, I don't know what the, the possibilities are with this, you know? Like, there's so many things that can happen here with, you know, his team, my team. Blah blah blah. You know, I really don't know. So I mean, this guy has 40 seconds left. We'll see what happens. But that's why I'm going in here blind, man. I know really very little about Ubers, but I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be using different Pokemon, experimenting. You know, so I mean, hopefully I can get adjusted to the scene and know how to handle myself in it. You know, 
while using some Pokemon that, you know, are kind of interesting in Ubers as well, too, you know? Like, that's why I really wanted to try the Bear Tick Kai Ubers combo, because I ran, my one time read they go together really well because of the Swiss Swim and the stab that Bear Tick has with the ice moves. So, you know, I figured, hey, why not try it out once? And I won that battle because of um, this connection. So already we're off to a good start. <laughs> oh man, 46 points for winning. Okay then, that's a lot of freaking points to get for winning. Uh, let me close down Showdown because it's acting weird with that bow. Um, but yeah, man, okay, so. <laughs> First game, great. <laughs> Hell no, man, that was, that was horrible. All right, we're gonna look for some more stuff. Maybe, it, maybe I thought Showdown was acting up, but no, it's just the dude didn't wasn't there. Okay, let's go. Let's look for another Ubers game, man. Let's see what happens. Oh man, this guy has two Kirins on the team. This is so scary. I, this is so scary. I don't know how to handle myself here. This is scary. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? I right. damn. He has a lot of stuff rock weakness too. When you think about it, man, we gotta get them shits up as soon as possible, baby. As soon as possible. Oh man, okay, we got this bitch in here. You know what, let's go for a Stealth Rock just because, you know, it'll hit everything really nicely. Because it'll be great to get that residual damage up on there. Oh, okay, we live the Flash Cannon. That's really nice. Why would he go for a Flash Cannon? Maybe he was expecting somebody else to come in like Bear Tick? No, why would you expect that? No, no, of course not. Psychic! Oh, wow, that only did. That's a Deoxys attack right there! That only did like 69? What the fuck? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh shit, man, this is this is getting real now. Okay, let's see how much damage Kyogre can pull off in the rain with the Choice Scarf, with the Stab, and the Water Spout, and all that goodness. You know, you know, that's what Kyogre does best. Um, maybe we should go for a, um, maybe we should go for an Ice Beam, because it hits pretty much everything on his team. Anything that he would want to switch in, that is. Yeah, let's go for an Ice Beam. Okay, the Arceus comes in. Damn, he takes that really, really nicely, man. Um, Alright, so probably going to be one of those Sword Dance Extreme Speed RCs. I've seen those before, you know, I know how they like to operate. So, let's go in there with Yvatal. I really want to use Yvatal too. I think it's an awesome Pokemon, you know. Yvatal is just great. I don't know what RCs' base speed is and all that shit. Okay, we took the Draco Meteor pretty well. Now, let's go for them hurry, them hurry Canes. Even though I know Oblivion Wing is an option as well, but since I have Roost, I figured that Hurry Cane... Hurry <laughs> Harry Kane would be a better <laughs> option for more damage, you know, since Oblivion Wing is only base 80. So we can hit this guy with the Harry Kane. And um, let's go for another Harry Kane, since it'll be 100% accuracy in the rain. This feels like a horror strategy, but it helps us to take Luguano out 100%. So we got this thing down. So far, so meh. I don't know what the hell the possibilities are here. But um, he's probably going to Mega Evolve here, so let's go for a Dark Pulse since, you know, it's pretty damn obvious what's going to happen. And we managed to get the Charizard X down with Yvatal, so this is good. So far, we're on a good track here, but you know, this battle is not over. He still has that Arceus in there. I do not feel comfortable at all with that thing in here, man. I really don't. So you know what, let's just go for a Roost here to get my HP up before this guy wants to do anything. I don't know what he might possibly do. Okay, so he's going to go for the Draco. Let's go for one more Roost. And if he decides to go for another Draconius Meteor, then we can just switch the fuck out of there and go into, like, Luguano or something. Um, yeah, don't ask me where the names come from, man. I barely know myself. Okay, um... I don't know what I'm doing! I have no idea what I'm doing, man! I really do not know what I'm doing right now. But you know what, we're gonna go into Kyogre. I'm guessing that this guy doesn't really know much of what he's doing either, because this match feels like a little bit too easy to me. It feels way too easy to me, you know, that the Pokemon, my Pokemon are doing so much damage here. So, you know, I'm not taking anything for granted. This battle is far from over, as you guys can see. Uh, so, um, if we just go for the Solid Ice Beam, we should hit anything that's coming in really nicely. But he stays in there with his Giratina. Takes that hit like a boss, man! God damn, Giratina! Yo, man, there's one thing that you can't underestimate in this Uber shit that I'm seeing right now. It's the concept of, like, how much damage Pokemon are able to take in this tier, man. Pokemon take damage here. They don't fuck around with that shit. They really don't fuck around. Um, all right, Kyogre's pretty much done, man. I feel like Kyogre's pretty much, it's over for Kyogre, you know? Like, then again, maybe it's not. Maybe I should keep it alive, just in case. You know, you never know. You never really know. But... The Kieran Black's gonna hit something with that fusion ball. It's gonna it's gonna ruin someone's day. So I feel like going in there maybe with like um 
the Guano would probably be the best option. Oh, oh, what the fuck am I doing? It's got Fusion Bolt. Oh, Hydro Beam. Oh, okay. We lucked out there, obviously. So, um, let's go for a Whirlwind. Let's mix this shit up. Oh, he forfeited. Okay, why the hell did he forfeit? That was a... Well, I don't know if that was a good battle, but... Whatever. Why the hell did you have Hydro Beam? That was weird. Okay. Let's look for another game, man. Um, that was kind of weird, you know, I don't know, I don't, I'm not saying I did good at all, don't even regard that as a victory, we're, we have to test this Uber's tier a lot more before we can just assume we know what's going on. This is going to be a long journey, but I'm willing to go for it, so, um, let's, let's try it out, man.